Hey guys, this is Shock, and boy do I have something absolutely hilarious <laughs> to tell you today. Now, here's what this video is going to cover. First of all, another atheist, another atheist has become a Christian. So we're going to talk about that. Hopefully you can hear me because I have my visor open a bit, so I'll kind of yell. Let me get the camera situated here. And we're going to be going over here on the freeway. So we're going to be hands-free here. Notice I'm not holding the camera, so it should be pretty fun. Another atheist has become a Christian, and I'm going to tell you why lately we've been getting more atheists become Christians than ever before. So I've been trying something new. Here we go. Now we're going to get on the freeway, God willing, if this truck don't get me. My visor is still open, so hold on, I'm going to have to close it. triple digits over here in California so it's pretty hot okay we've been getting uh, more atheists become Christians and this one that became a Christian was what was his name or her name it was well if you go to my YouTube channel in the comment section you'll see it there shy lad shy lad shy something s-h-y something and they left atheism and they're now a Christian and I get emails like this all the time, and here's what happens. And we're all right, we're at the freeway. You guys ready? I gotta talk fast because I don't want you to miss out on this absolute hilarious thing that happened when I was debating an atheist. The bizarre things that the atheists were saying. I I'm talking bizarre. Hold on. I want to get in front of this big giant trash truck. Okay, as you know, uh, I've debated not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not ten, twenty, thirty, but thirty-four atheists in a row have lost debates to me, I very humbly say, because I've been studying Christian theism and I used to be an atheist and now I'm a Christian. In other words, I left fiction for non-fiction. I've left atheism for Christianity. And do you know there's absolutely no arguments that an atheist can give that would cause us to believe that atheism is true? So let me tell you some things real quick, then we'll tell you the funny stuff. I challenge the number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube, the amazing atheist, to a debate, and he won't debate me, he's afraid. I would be afraid to. It would look really bad when I recorded that debate and then I uploaded it on YouTube, and you guys could see really quite frankly, how full of crap atheism is. Look, 34 debates in a row that atheists have lost clearly means atheism is full of crap. Clearly. It clearly means that. Um, and to pour salt in the wound, I was an atheist. I'm an ex-atheist, now Christian. Similar to Peter Hitchens. You know, Peter Hitchens was Christopher Hitchens' brother, an atheist. And Peter Hitchens left atheism, he left the madness of atheism for the truth, sanity, and power of Jesus Christ through Christianity. So Peter Hitchens left atheism. So we've had the number one most subscribed to atheist on YouTube that is afraid to debate me, it has nothing to do with me, but he knows he cannot give any good reasons why we should believe that God does not exist. In fact, um, if you click below this video, right below, you see that video is there. I have challenged the amazing atheist, give me any type of proof and evidence that atheism is true. And he has been on record saying that it's a faith-based worldview because he said, quote, I cannot provide any proof and evidence that atheism is true or accurate, unquote. So basically, atheism is based on blind faith. I'm sorry, I, I need proof and evidence. I, very religious, if you ask me. Maybe this is why the United States has ruled, the United States courts have ruled that atheism is a religion. Well, I, I can see why they would rule that. It clearly is a faith-based worldview. But the madness of atheism, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's faith and nothing. Now, Everyone in the chat room right here below here at shockandnell.net was saying, Shock, you have got to make a video on the GOAT.
conversation. I know you I know you guys in the chat room are watching this. You've been waiting for me to make a video on this. What I'm about to tell you is absolutely hilarious and true. You can't make this stuff up, folks. I was debating this atheist. Gosh, where does time go? I was debating this atheist and I have this little technique where I'm talking to the atheist about objective moral values. Now, let me tell you what objective moral values are. These are values that are true and binding whether or not we believe in them or not. For example, to say that when the Nazis killed the Jews in the ovens is evil means that it's evil even if you were a Nazi disagreeing with it, saying that no, it was justified. In other words, if you agree with me that rape is always wrong and um, when the Nazis went ahead and killed the Jews that that was wrong, then you believe in objective values. However, the man that says rape is okay is just as wrong is the man that says two plus two equals five. So this is what we're talking about with objective values. But atheists got a problem with this. They hate objective values because they realize in the real world, the world that you and I live in, my friend, we have objective values. Rape is wrong. We've even made laws outlawing rape. That's how wrong it is. It is objectively wrong. It's not subjective. It's objective wrong. So anyways, but the atheists don't want to admit that objective values exist. So I want to tell you this little technique I use in debate. If you're a Christian, a theist, you want to use this technique. It's absolutely hilarious to see them squirm. And so, <laughs> so basically, and I got to get over and change freeways over here. Basically, I number one, you ask the atheist like I did, do you believe you're an animal with no spirit, no soul? Do you believe this? that you're just an animal. At which point, the atheist will say, yes, they believe they're animals. No spirit, spirit no soul. Um, they believe they're animals with no spirit whatsoever, right? Well, then you ask them this. So now look what I did. I got them to admit they're an animal. Now you go to, there's three premises here. The first one you say is, are you an animal? They're always going to say yes. They're proud to admit they're animals. <laughs> you know, when my atheist neighbor comes over, we always got to make sure we have a fresh bag of kibbles and bits. I just pour some food in the bowl there that says atheist on it, and I go, here, eat that. I don't want to offend him. You know, he believes he's an animal. But anyways, back to what I was saying, um, and I got to get over here, and these people are not letting me in. So once the atheist says that he's an animal, he admits it. <laughs> Then, then you go to the next step and I say to them, do you believe it's wrong, evil, immoral for one species of animal to mate? In other words, to have sexual relations with, like Bill Clinton said, I did not have sexual. Do you believe it's wrong for one animal to go outside of its species and mate with another animal? Do you believe that's evil, wrong, immoral? Now, they always say no. Now, do you get what I just did there? They're an animal. They just said there's nothing wrong with an animal going outside its species and mating with another animal. So then I asked the atheist, and this is where it gets hilarious. You can't write comedy like this, folks. This is true. There was over 30 people that witnessed this. I said, well, according to the atheist worldview then, there's nothing wrong or immoral or, or stopping you from having to to have sexual relations with a goat g-o-a-t on atheism there's nothing wrong with that that's what they believe so so see i want them i got him now see he either has to say no there's nothing wrong with it which is just sick gross and also illegal <laughs> And he's got to say that in front of everyone in the room so everyone can see the madness of atheism. Or he has to bow his head in and concede that yes, there are some things
that are wrong, objectively wrong, which is that if he was, if he had a grain of sand of common sense in his brain, he would say that. But no, folks, this is atheism. So let me tell you what he said. <laughs> Why are you sitting down for this answer? Remember, I said on atheism, there's, is there anything wrong or evil with you mating with a goat since he believes he's an animal? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. My stomach still hurts. I mean, we got like an ab workout laughing at the, the madness of atheism. The atheist said, you ready? <laughs> Here's what he said. He said, well, the goat would have to give consent. The goat! <laughs> oh my gosh! Atheism is insane! The atheist said the goat would have to give consent. At which point, the entire chat room started laughing at the atheist. The goat would have to give consent. In other words, there's nothing wrong with it as long as, the atheist said, the goat gives consent. At which point, the other people in the room started cracking up laughing. Uh, people were getting on the mic saying, so basically you're saying it's okay if the goat gives consent? And the atheist said, yes! Folks, this is the madness of atheism. Not only is that sick and gross, it's also illegal. It's illegal! So the atheist was saying it's okay to break the law and do something sick. Now you know why he said that? Is because he does not want to say there's objective morality. Now here's where it gets hilarious. Some of the people started making fun of this goat thing and said, well, what do you, how does a goat give consent? Does he do like one, puts one of his feet down or hooves down for the answer yes or two for no. And then another guy, my, my Christian friend, Viva Ramones, he got on and he said, shock, he goes, if the goat could talk, the goat would say, no, it's bad. <laughs> it was so good. Folks, this is the madness of atheism. The atheist said, there's nothing wrong with it if the goat gives consent. My God help us. May God help us if atheism is rotting the brains of our fellow atheist friends that are saying the only thing stopping them from marrying a goat is if the goat gives consent. You know, this is amazing. This is why the Bible talks about the sin of atheism. Go into the book of Romans and read it. And right after that, it talks about bestiality being sin. Evidently, God understood atheism leads to this subjective moral mindset, which is just perverse. It's perverse, guys. Jeez. Uh, now, I was thinking, what should I name this video? The goat or something like that? I don't know what I'm going to name this video, but now listen, I got about two minutes more <coughs> or less than two minutes. There was a woman in the room that was an atheist, so I thought, well, maybe this is just one guy that is talking, uh, uh, one atheist that is talking like this. Surely other atheists would not agree, because all the Christians said it was sick. It was stupid. But not the atheist, no. He said that as long as the goat gives consent, this is just ri ridiculous. This other woman that was an atheist, her name was Man Bear Pig. And she got on the mic, she's a woman. I asked her, is it wrong? And you know what she said? Rather than just saying, yes, it's wrong, she said, shock, I know where you're going with this. You're trying to get me to admit that objective morality exists. I said, is it wrong for, for heaven's sake? Is it wrong? It's a goat. And she said, no, it's not wrong. Folks, this is why people are leaving atheism. It is madness. It is insane. You ready to debate me? Go below, shockonout.net. And let's get this show on the road.